What is up guys, it's Lord Tango the second down here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to macro in Spongebob Tower Defense, but this works on any other Roblox game also. We are using Tiny Task, and I'm going to show you how to download it and the proper settings. So the first things you guys are going to want to do is head over to Chrome or any browser and search up Tiny Task. However, I will be putting the link in the description if you guys don't want to search it up and just want to go to the link immediately. Once you go to tinytask.net, you will be brought to this screen here under home. Once you're under home, you can see download here. And if you hover over version 1.77, all you have to do is click this and a screen should open up to save the application. So just hit save. All right, guys, each time you open tiny task, this will appear. All you have to do is just click run. And if you guys don't want it to continuously ask you this, all you have to do is uncheck this box that says always ask before opening this file and it would never say this ever again all right guys so once you have tiny task open it should look something along the lines of this mind you it might vary depending on updates and such uh depending on how long in the future you guys are watching this but here are the preferences that you should always have on first off always have always on top what this does is if you see here i'm running around and clicking here and tiny task is still up there but if i uncheck that and i click into roblox it disappears now with always on top you also want to have continuous playback on this will this means just loop that's what it is it's just continuously looping the recordings so it macros over and over you can also set the playback loop so if you want to just do it a certain amount of times whatever action you're doing you can set it to your own agenda but for this case we're just doing continuous playback Lastly, you want to change your playback hotkey to whichever hotkey you desire, and same with the recording hotkey. I prefer F8 for recording hotkey, and I prefer F12 for the playback hotkey. Now, a little thing with F12 is if you are in Roblox and you hit F12, it will start screen recording, but all you have to do is hit escape, captures, and hit stop recording, and you are fine. All right, so now I'm going to go into a game and show you exactly how to use this. So if you're doing SpongeBob Tower Defense, this is how you do it. Act 1, Nightmare, and just start. I recommend the starter unit you should use is Pearl or Elastic Waistband. So I'm going to set up my character here. Now, I need you guys to note that you should never, ever move your camera during the recording and never move your character only place what you're doing. So if I hit F8 to start recording, I hit start wave, then I put down my characters. That's all I need to do. Now we just sit here and wait. Now that the victory screen has appeared i'm going to hit replay then i'm going to stop recording and then i'm going to go up here and click play now it will continuously play mind you i'm not doing this this is tiny task doing it completely so on the top left you guys can see there's a timer and a one slash zero the timer is how long the macro is running for so for this macro it's only probably a minute and 10 seconds tops the one slash zero means the first number is 1, which is how many times it's playing back, which you will see in a second. Once it changes, it will say 2. The slash 0 star means infinite. Since we're in continuous playback, it just says 0 star. But if you have it set to a certain amount, it will say X out of Y. So for example, I have it set to do this only 30 times. It will say slash 30 rather than 0 star. You're going to see it change to 2. As soon as it hit replays, watch this. And now it's reset, including with the timer. All right, guys, that is actually it for this video. If you guys have any questions or concerns, comment down below because I will be reading comments and everything. So don't worry about it. I will help all of you guys out. Don't forget to check the description for the link and everything. Remember, this is completely safe to my knowledge. I've been using this for a while now and I have not had a single issue. Um, it should not be a virus. It should not be malware or any sort of thing that will corrupt your PC or harm you. So don't worry about it. And if you guys don't trust me, then watch other videos about it and do your own research through Reddit and other 
platforms. That's all for now. Make sure you guys like and subscribe if this helped you at all. And make sure you guys tune in to the next video and or stream. Much love I helped anyone out. I hope I did. And yeah, see you guys in the next video. Peace out.